how he is. <clears throat> yeah. What happened in Paris yesterday was was a, an attack by an Islamic mental case group on free speech, and that's the end of it. The, all the no evidence points to anything else. I am seeing people losing their minds posting the video of the cop being shot on the ground that the bullet clearly misses the guy's head it was just a misfire and that's why his head didn't bleed or explode the AK-47 is notorious for not being accurate it's because it has a short barrel if it was an old one which a lot which you know terrorists tend to use they buy these old guns on the black market got to be used by gangsters or someone else or in a war in the past the inside of the barrel that has the spiraling inside it that'll be worn down and the barrel will be very loose so the bullet going through the barrel doesn't go through spinning because the spin is what makes the shot accurate it rattles through it like this and when it comes out the other end it can go anyway it's it's an assault rifle it's an automatic assault rifle it's to be fired in groups at the enemy it's not a sniper's rifle now remember that Let's forget we ever heard the term terrorism, okay? Let's just forget that we ever heard that, okay? That that term doesn't exist. And let's look at this as a terms of a crime, okay? We have two gangs across town. One that's dissing one gang with uh, magazine articles and satire and cartoons. And the other gang has enough of it and sends their, their capos over to rub them out. Suddenly, it doesn't seem, you know, so, so, you know, so odd or, you know, open to suggestion of it being a false flag or anything like that. Yes, false flags have happened in the past and there's some very dodgy history of them, but not all terrorist attacks are false flags. And people have to remember that. What happened in Paris yesterday was completely and totally an attack on free speech by a couple of lunatics. Now, even if things like ISIS are not necessarily real, you must remember there are enough nutcases out there who will actually think the stuff is real. And they'll go out and do the stuff on their own. During the troubles in Northern Ireland, you had guys who were not, not members of either the IRA or the UVF doing things like killing cops and killing Catholics and Protestants. And it would be attributed to the terrorist, but it was just uh, someone who was not a member joining in and, t and just killing. And I, this, cause this is what could have easily have happened in Paris with Charlie Hebdo yes, magazine yesterday. Just because the bigger picture isn't real doesn't mean that there's, there's not morons on the ground who actually think it's real. And then other people are saying, oh, they have military. They don't have military preci precision or anything. Uh, that's, it's just mortar. They just, they just went into a, building and sh into a building and shot people. Cops showed up on bicycles, because that's the easiest way to get around in a, in a tight, closed city these days. And uh, they, were sh they were just outgunned. Now, people say, well, what about leaving their IDs in the car? The reason they did that would be the same reason soldiers wear dog tags. These guys probably didn't expect to survive yesterday. And... Uh, they were hoping that if they were killed, which is probably what they expected and probably even wanted, they looked even surprised the fact that they were able to drive away, that they would gain instant martyrdom and notoriety by having their names found. This is why they leave their names around, so they can get instant notoriety. In case they get killed, in their fucked up minds, they have instant martyrdom. Okay, So people out there in the alternative movement, you're making yourselves look like mental cases. You really are. Sometimes, let me tell you something, although there are false flags and the intelligence services and the military is all set up uh, fake, you know, revolutionaries and stuff, there are also real religious fanatics and terrorists in this world. They do exist, okay?